So in this video, we're going to take a look at a selection of questions involving calculation problems. We're going to take a look through a number of different examples in this video. And as always, I'm going to put the timestamps for these questions down in the description so you can find them more easily. Feel free to pause the video at any time and have a go at these questions, and then you can check your answer in the solution. So let's get started on our first example. So for this first question, we have that Adam wants to buy a chocolate bar for everyone in his class. There are 26 students in his class. A pack of six chocolate bars costs £1.40. and pence. How much will Adam have to pay for the chocolate bars? So to begin with, we need to figure out how many packs of chocolate bars that Adam needs to buy. So he needs to buy 26 chocolate bars, so everyone in his class has got one but there are six chocolate bars per pack. So we've got to start off by doing 26 divided by six. Okay, to begin with, we can see how many times does six go into two? Well, it goes in zero times, so we're gonna carry over that two to the next digit. We then wanna see how many times does six go into 26? Well, it won't fit in exactly, so we know we're going to have a decimal here. So I'm going to extend my line and put a decimal above and below. So six will fit into 26 four times, because six times four is 24. That's going to leave us with a remainder of two. So I need to put a zero here to carry over this two on two. So now we want to see how many times does six fit into 20? Well, that'll fit three times because six times three is 18. And again, that's going to leave us with a remainder of two again. So I can put a zero here to carry my two over two. But we can see now we're gonna have exactly the same thing. It's going to fit in three times again. And this is going to recur. We're going to have 4.3 recurring, which we can write as 4.3 with a little dot on top. So this is the amount of packs that he'd need exactly to have 26 chocolate bars, but we can't buy 0.3 recurring of a pack, so we need to round up to the next whole number. So Adam is going to need to buy five packs of chocolate bars to make sure that everybody in his class gets one. So we know he needs five packs. We need to figure out how much Adam has to pay. Well, we know in the question that each pack of six is going to cost £1.40, Adam is going to buy five packs, so now we simply need to do £1.40 multiplied by five. So if we do five times zero, that's going to give us zero. We've then got five multiplied by four, which is 20. So we're going to have a zero in this column, and we're going to carry over our two. And then finally, we've got five multiplied by one, which is five. Add on the two gives us seven. So in total, Adam is going to have to pay seven pounds. And that would be our answer for this one. Okay, let's take a look at one more example. So for this question, we have that a shop sells washing powder in 550 gram boxes. Jess has no washing powder and estimates that she will be washing three times a week using 30 grams for each wash. Jess wants to buy enough washing powder for 15 weeks. How many boxes of washing powder does she need to buy? Okay, to start with this question, we can see that Jess is estimating that she's going to be washing three times a week and she'll be using 30 grams of washing powder for each wash. So we're simply going to do three multiplied by 30 and that's going to give us 90. So we're estimating that Jess is going to use 90 grams of washing powder each week. Then looking at our next part of the question, we have that Jess wants to buy enough washing powder for 15 weeks. So if we're estimating that she's going to need 90 grams a week, we now just need to do 90 multiplied by 15. So to begin with, we're going to do five times zero. Well, that's zero. We're then going to do five times nine. Well, that's 45. We then move over to our one. Now, because we're moving over to the tens column, 
we need a placeholder in our units column, so we're going to put a zero there. We then do one multiplied by zero, which is zero, and then one multiplied by nine, which is nine. So now we've got 450 and 900, which we need to add together. So zero add zero gives us zero, five add zero gives us five, and then four add nine is going to give us 13. So Jess is going to need 1,350 grams of washing powder in total. Okay, we need to figure out how many boxes she needs to buy. And looking at that very first sentence, we can see that the shop sells the washing powder in 550 gram boxes. So we could just divide this total by 550, but it may be easier just to go up in our multiples of 550. So for example, we know that one box of washing powder contains 550 grams. So for two boxes, all we're going to do is add on another 550 grams. Well, if we do that, we're going to have 1,100 grams. So two boxes isn't going to be enough because she needs 1,350. So then if we go to three boxes, we can see now that we have enough because if we add on another 550, we would have 1,650 grams in total. So to make sure that Jess has enough washing powder for those 15 weeks, she's going to need to buy three boxes in total. And that would be our final answer to this question. So well done if you followed along with those questions. And that's it for this video. If you want to check out any other videos that are relevant to this one, then I'll leave some links for them down in the description, and I'll also put a card in the top corner of this video. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please feel free to leave a like and consider subscribing. If there are any other topics at all that you'd like me to go through next, then please just let me know down in the comments, and I'll try to make some videos on those topics as soon as possible. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.